Have you ever wondered what secrets Istanbul, the city that straddles two continents, holds within its ancient walls? This city's heart beats in Europe and Asia, creating a unique blend of culture and history. Known formerly as Constantinople, Istanbul was once the capital of three great empires, Roman, Byzantine, and Ottoman. This city is a treasure trove of stories waiting to be discovered. With its rich tapestry of cultures and traditions, Istanbul is a city of mystique and allure. Today we embark on a journey through the heart of Istanbul, exploring nine must-visit spots that make the city unforgettable. Our first stop is the iconic Blue Mosque, a site of religious significance and architectural splendor. This awe-inspiring edifice, officially named Sultan Ahmed Mosque, has stood tall since the 17th century, a testament to the Ottoman Empire's grandeur. Its six minarets pierce the Istanbul skyline, a unique feature that distinguishes it from other mosques of its time. This bold architectural choice was a statement of Sultan Ahmed's devotion and ambition. The mosque's interior, however, is where it truly earns its moniker. Over 20,000 hand-painted blue tiles adorn its walls, each one a canvas of intricate patterns and motifs. Bathed in the soft light filtering through 260 windows, these cobalt tiles create a serene ambiance that captivates every visitor. The Blue Mosque, a testament to Istanbul's spiritual and artistic heritage, leaves every visitor in awe. An undeniable symbol of Istanbul, it stands as a beautiful reminder of the city's rich past and enduring faith. Just a stone's throw away from the Blue Mosque is the Hagia Sophia, a symbol of Istanbul's layered history. This architectural marvel has changed face multiple times over the centuries, telling a story of religion, culture, and power. Originally, the Hagia Sophia was a grand Byzantine cathedral, an epitome of Christian art and architecture. Its immense dome rising over 100 feet in the air was a marvel of the ancient world. Then, following the Ottoman conquest, it was transformed into a mosque. Its Christian mosaics were plastered over, and Islamic features like the towering minarets were added, creating a unique blend of Christian and Islamic art. In the 20th century, Hagia Sophia embarked on another transformation, this time into a museum. Stripped of its religious affiliations, it now stands as a testament to the city's diverse history and architectural genius. The Hagia Sophia, where East meets West, stands as a monument to Istanbul's complex past. Next, we venture into Topkapi Palace, a glimpse into the opulent life of Ottoman sultans. This grand complex, once the primary residence of the sultans for almost 400 years, whispers tales of opulence and power. Imagine the sultans, draped in silks and jewels, strolling through the four luxurious courtyards, each more stunning than the previous one. The palace's history is as rich as its decor. It was built in the mid-15th century, shortly after the Ottomans seized Constantinople, and served as a royal residence until the 19th century. It's an architectural marvel that has stood the test of time, a testament to the grandeur of the Ottoman Empire. One of the most intriguing sections of the palace is the harem, a complex of rooms where the Sultan's family and concubines lived. This section was a world unto itself, a labyrinth of beautifully decorated rooms, each telling a different story. Topkapi Palace, a journey through Ottoman extravagance, never fails to dazzle. Prepare your senses for the Grand Bazaar, a maze of vibrant colors, enticing scents, and bustling activity. This isn't just a market, it's a living, breathing testament to Istanbul's rich and diverse history, where every winding alley and crowded stall tells a story. Let's begin with the spices, you'll find them in abundance, each one more exotic than the last. They not only tickle your nose, but also your imagination, transporting you to distant lands and ancient times. Then, there are the carpets, intricate tapestries of thread that tell tales of tradition and craftsmanship passed down through generations. But the Grand Bazaar is not just about buying, it's about bargaining. It's a dance, a performance, a test of wit and will. So, gear up for a friendly haggle, and remember, it's all part of the experience. A visit to the Grand Bazaar is a sensory overload, a true taste of Istanbul's lively spirit. We now descend into the eerie beauty of the Basilica Cistern, Istanbul's largest surviving Byzantine cistern. This remarkable underground structure, constructed in the 6th century during the reign of Byzantine Emperor Justinianus I, was designed to store water for the Great Palace. 
Imagine walking through its dimly lit corridors, the echoes of water dripping from the vaulted ceiling onto the worn marble floor. The cistern's most iconic features are the two Medusa columns. The origin of these columns is shrouded in mystery, but they are believed to have been repurposed from older structures. The Medusa heads are placed in unusual positions, one upside down, the other turned sideways, possibly to negate the mythical creature's petrifying gaze. The Basilica Cistern was not just a practical solution for water storage, but also a testament to the architectural brilliance of the Byzantine Empire. The Basilica Cistern, a voyage into Istanbul's subterranean past, is a sight not to be missed. Emerging from the underground, we find ourselves at the Dolmabachi Palace, a stunning blend of European and Ottoman styles. This elegant structure stands as a testament to the changing tides of history. It was constructed in the mid-19th century during the reign of Sultan Abdulmekid Bes, who desired a more modern residence than the medieval Topkapi Palace. Dolmabachi Palace is no less grand, boasting about 285 rooms and 43 salons. It was the ultimate symbol of the Sultan's power and influence, brimming with opulent chandeliers, lush carpets and priceless works of art. The palace also holds significant historical weight, as it was the final residence of the Ottoman Sultans. In addition to its rich history, Dolmabachi Palace offers breathtaking views of the Bosphorus Strait, making it a popular spot for visitors. Dolmabachi Palace, with its lavish interiors and picturesque views, is a jewel in Istanbul's crown. Next, we step into the Chora Museum, a hidden gem that houses some of the finest Byzantine mosaics and frescoes. This remarkable museum, tucked away in the heart of Istanbul, is a testament to the city's rich and vibrant past. Originally a medieval Byzantine church, the Kyora Museum has worn many hats over the centuries, serving as a mosque during the Ottoman Empire, before finally being converted into a museum. The Kora Museum showcases a stunning array of Byzantine art, with intricate mosaics and frescoes that narrate biblical stories, shedding light on the religious and artistic culture of the Byzantine era. Each artwork is a masterpiece in itself, a vibrant tapestry of color and detail that leaves visitors in awe. These artworks are not just beautiful, they're significant, they serve as a window into the past, helping us understand the aesthetic and spiritual landscape of Byzantine society. The Kora Museum, a sanctuary of art and history, is a must-visit for any art lover. Finally, we end our journey on the waters of the Bosphorus Strait, the lifeblood of Istanbul. The Bosphorus Strait is more than just a body of water. It's a meeting point, a crossroads where the continents of Europe and Asia shake hands. It's the vibrant pulse that courses through the veins of this city, bringing life, commerce, and a unique blend of cultures. For centuries, it has been a silent witness to the city's rise and fall, its triumphs and tribulations, and its constant evolution. Imagine the stunning views that this strait offers. On one side, the European Istanbul, with its monumental structures and imperial grandeur. On the other, the Asian Istanbul, a canvas of charming neighborhoods and lush landscapes. And in the middle, the strait itself, a silver ribbon that winds through the city like a storyteller weaving tales of history, culture, and adventure. The Bosphorus Strait is a feast for the senses. It's the sight of seagulls swooping down to kiss the waves, the sound of the wind whispering secrets to the sea, the smell of the salty air that fills your lungs with freshness, and the taste of the cool breeze that leaves a hint of the sea on your lips. And then there are the boat rides. Imagine gliding over the water, the city unfolding before your eyes like a pop-up book. The boat rides are an experience in themselves. They're not just a way to get from point A to point B. They're a journey, a moment to pause and appreciate the beauty of the city from a different perspective. They're a chance to feel the rhythm of Istanbul, to understand its pulse and to connect with its soul. The Bosphorus Strait, with its shimmering waters and breathtaking panorama, encapsulates the enchanting allure of Istanbul. It's a testament to the city's resilience, its diversity, and its timeless charm. It's a symbol of Istanbul's past, a mirror reflecting its present and a window into its future. It's not just a strait, it's the heart of Istanbul, beating passionately, relentlessly, beautifully. As the sun sets over the Bosphorus, we bid farewell to Istanbul, a city that has captured our hearts. Our journey unfolded through the mystique of the Blue Mosque, the grandeur of Hagia Sophia, the opulence of Topkapi and Dolmabachi palaces. 
we meandered through the labyrinthine Grand Bazaar, marveled at the Basilica Cistern and admired the artistry in Cora Museum. Our voyage culminated with the breathtaking Bosphorus Strait. Istanbul with its timeless beauty and vibrant culture awaits your return. Until next time, happy travels. If you've enjoyed this journey through Istanbul, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We're always on the hunt for new exciting destinations to explore and we'd love to hear from you. Comment down below where you'd like us to travel next. Your suggestion might just be our next adventure. Until then, keep exploring, keep discovering, and most importantly, keep traveling.